Monkeypox is an infectious disease caused by the monkeypox virus. It belongs to the genus of viruses called autopox virus. Other viruses in this group include the variola virus, which causes smallpox, and the cowpox virus. The virus was first discovered in Denmark in 1958 in monkeys kept for research at a lab. The first human case occurred in 1970, 12 years after the discovery of the first case in the Democratic Republic of Congo. And since then, several cases have occurred in Central and West Africa and other parts of the world. How do you get monkeypox? Monkeypox virus is a zoonotic disease, meaning it is transmitted from animals to humans, either through bites or scratches from these animals, or by eating improperly cooked meat from an infected animal. It can also be transmitted through contact with infected persons via touching, kissing, or sexual intercourse. Additionally, it can spread from infected materials such as contaminated sheets, clothes, or needles, and from pregnant mothers to their unborn babies through the placenta. The incubation period of monkeypox is usually 6 to 13 days, which is how long it takes before you start seeing symptoms of the disease. Symptoms include fever, sore throat, headache, muscle aches, back pain, fatigue, and swollen lymph nodes. These symptoms are followed by the development of a rash, which starts on the face and extends to other parts of the body, including the palms and soles. The rash begins as macros, which are skin lesions with a flat base. It then progresses to become purples, which are raised lesions with yellowish fluid. This later crusts or rise off and the scalps eventually fall off. Even though most people show symptoms, some people may be affected without developing any symptoms while still transmitting the disease. Scary, right? I know. Research from a reliable source has shown that everybody subscribed to my channel ends up living a healthier life. So, you should probably subscribe. Monkeypox infection usually resolves in 2-4 to four weeks. However, in some patients, it may progress and lead to complications such as secondary bacterial infection, where the skin lesions become infected, encephalitis, where there is inflammation of the brain, pneumonia, sepsis, and corneal infection, which can lead to vision loss. Diagnosis of the monkeypox virus might be challenging as other conditions can present similarly to it. To detect the virus, a specimen is taken from the rash skin, fluid, or cross, and a polymerase chain reaction test is done to detect the DNA of the virus. If there are no skin lesions, a throat, anal, or rectal swab can be done to obtain samples for testing. After confirmation of the disease, you would be isolated and given supportive care to help your body fight the infection, as the monkeypox virus does not have a cure yet. Since there is no cure, the best thing to do during an outbreak is to get vaccinated against monkeypox to prevent infection. So what are some do's and don'ts during an outbreak? You should try to stay at home in your room if possible. Wash your hands often with soap and water or hand sanitizer, especially before or after touching sores. Wear a mask and cover lesions when around other people until your rash heals. Keep your skin dry and uncovered unless in a room with someone else. Avoid touching items in shared spaces and disinfect shared spaces frequently. Use salt water rinses for sores in the mouth. Take sitz baths or warm baths with baking soda or Epsom salts for body sores. Take over-the-counter medications for pain like paracetamol or ibuprofen. What you should avoid include popping the blisters or scratching your sores as this can spread the rash to other parts of your body and cause sores to become infected. Do not shave areas with sores until the scabs have healed completely and new skin has formed as this can also spread the rash to other parts of your body. And we've come to the end of the video. If you learned anything, please subscribe and share this video with your loved ones. Bye!